Now, hot water system located in the back there. It has our two water filters located here. Uh, so that's our water from our water tanks is run through from the pump, through the filters and then back out to the kitchen sink or into the shower on its own. You'll also notice on the outside, we have this large black dial here. This is our safety side of things with our 240 volt, um, our 12 volt electrical side with our, our standard like household safety throw out switch. So they will potentially on a rough corrugated road pothole road there is the potential for those to trip out um, and then you'll go and plug in your 240 volt and you won't be able to access the power because you'll be going where's my power they potentially have tripped out so just a matter of the same as what you do at home flick them back in and they're working again so they're a fusible link in, a, in another world i suppose go to that inside of here this is our changeover point so this is relevant to our front tank to our back tank so this is where we change when we run down the tank, which is predominantly you'll always run down the back tank first because we'll draw out of that for the shower and toilet and that side. Um, so you'll have that one open, the other one will be shut off. So we'll draw everything out of that and then we open up the other one and we can draw through. The inside there, there's another 240 volt power point. That's relevant to our battery management system on board. So that's if we plug in our 240 volt power, um, it's gotta be working so that we can get the charger to work as well all right yeah the one that I like to call the money box this seat here is generally where if you've optioned up to go for lithium batteries as these customers have this is where the the money is in this side so effectively what you're looking at inside here we have our diesel heater located down the bottom here we have two this customer has in particular upgraded to uh, 150 amp hour lithium batteries each so they've got 300 amps of uh, lithium batteries as you can see in two batteries so they're a bigger battery than standard uh, but give us a bigger amp hour out of those we've also got here our battery management system on the side uh, some relevant hoses and fuses which is all about our water tanks and our waste going through the floor back outside to the tanks and that side but one of the big points is about our fuse boxes that you can see here um, they're full fuses and there's another smaller fuse down the bottom there so I think Luke brushed on this once before but very similar um, they're all laid out very very similar on that side so one is what we call our 12 volt supply the other one is a 24 hour supply so the 24 hour supply is the ones where we want power to all the time to our fridges uh, to our uh, toilet that sort of thing where we need to be able to just press those without turning the main switch on so they're the ones located down the bottom the top ones are the relevance of all our other little bits and pieces, so um, power to our 12 volt sockets or to the radio, those sort of things where you turn them on intermittently as you need to use them. That's the circuits for those. So everything is labelled all the way through there on all the fuse boxes. Um, and that's pretty well in a nutshell, that section there with both seats. This is an area where it's pretty well maintenance free. The only thing that you will check inside here from time to time is obviously, you know, you've done a lot of traveling or whatever, is to just go through and just make sure the battery clamp is secure. Just give the leads a bit of a jiggle and make sure the leads are secure, that nothing has worked loose in some way or form. Or the last time you had somebody do some work to it, you know, you might have had the van for a couple of years and you potentially might change batteries over for some other reason. Someone might have tightened up a lead probably. So we need to check those things periodically and make sure that they're in um, obviously secure and, and well looked after. But apart from that, these other areas are maintenance free. The water filters was one where you will go to, um, I think they're good for about 10,000 litres before they need to be replaced. But again, that comes down to everybody's individual taste and that sort of thing with that. Uh, hot water system, self-explanatory. Don't have to do much with that. There is a valve on the bottom. We go into that a little bit more um, to drain the water out if it was going into storage or something like that. But otherwise, it's, it's maintenance free on all these areas. So.